We're here at our new Burn Store Road location where there's been so much going on for the past three or six months. In fact, the market has been more dynamic than I ever remember seeing it. And what we'd like to do is try to keep you up to date on what's going on. And uh, what we've been seeing nationally has really been consistent with what we've been reporting to you over the past year or so. The fundamentals, supply and demand, continue to pretty much be the same. Um, supply has really been uh, influenced by a lack of new construction, housing going on, and that has in turn been compounded by uh, labor shortages and material shortages. And on the demand side, we continue to see um, a tremendous amount of demand nationally. Um, not only coming from boomers who are relocating, but a continuation of this large influx of millennials. In fact, this is the second year that we have seen 38% of the national home buyers being millennials. But locally, I think it's even more extreme than it is on a national basis, and we expect that to perpetuate moving forward. I've actually been somewhat surprised when I hear clients saying that they think that they're going to wait until the market reverses and things calm down and prices decrease. And um, while I've been surprised by this, I've tried to find some really good market intelligence that substantiates this. And consequently, we have dedicated two pages of this quarter's newsletter to this premise. And I actually could not find anything to really substantiate this, but address all of the things that might be driving this mindset. Yes, we definitely have seen record price increases that seem totally unsustainable, but we really have historically delivered a tremendous value in this area, which is a lot stronger than what you would find in other areas of the Gulf Coast. Moreover, if you look at the impact of demographics, not only on the national market and the local market, it really is also playing into the current situation. No, millennials really not are not the ones that are buying in this area. They don't have a direct impact on us. However, they do have an indirect impact on us. Specifically, what we're seeing in our Northern theater markets is that the millennials are coming in and they're buying the houses of boomers or they're buying the houses of move up buyers who buy boomer houses. And that's making all the boomers come to areas like Florida, Nevada and other areas. And so indirectly, it certainly has an impact on us. And the boomers are flocking here. Interestingly, United Van Lines recently did their annual moving study. And what they do is they track migration of people, their customers that are moving throughout the country. And interestingly, they discovered that Florida was one of the top inbound states. And what they found was when they look at the moves in Florida, 62% of the movement was for people moving into the state versus 38% of the people moving out of the state. Additionally, I think it was 66% of the people that were moving into Florida were moving here for retirement or for the lifestyle. So again, that's more that boomer population. Then what I think is even more interesting is they identified that a lot of people are going to less dense areas and they specifically noted Punta Gorda as one of the top places in the country where people are, are really gravitating to. Um, the statistic for Punta Gorda was 81% of the moves in Punta Gorda are people coming in versus um, the 19% that are moving out. I think that we're seeing some um, activity in the local home developments that help to corroborate this um, influx, specifically Babcock Ranch. So you know that we periodically talk about the progress at that particular project. And uh, the most recent data that we have on Babcock is that over 1,700 housing units have been sold there just over the last few years. And you may remember in one of our prior videos, we were talking about a couple hundred. 
They're over 1,700 at this point in time. Heritage Landings down the street on Burns Store Road. They are now, they can't keep up with the demand. They're just releasing a few units at a time and then they'll have multiple bids go in for different properties there. And if you have the opportunity to drive through the community, you'll be amazed to see how much new construction has gone on since last season in that particular property. Then looking at the Burn Store Corridor uh, is really interesting dynamic because we've seen a lot of national builders uh, really that have been eyeing this area for a while and buying some uh, individual lots uh, to help uh, um, subsidize their inventory, if you will. In fact, Lennar had been buying up a bunch of lots in Burnt Store Lakes and right now has two houses under construction. It's not a lot, but we are seeing them moving into that particular community. Burn Store Village, DR Horton, has bought uh, quite a few lots over there and they're gonna start building homes in that community. Miranda Homes allegedly bought a pretty big subdivision or a piece of land uh, on the east side of Burn Store Road where they're going to be building houses behind Burn Store Colony. And there's also a property under contract on Zemmel Road. It was listed for four and a half million and um, they're gonna potentially be building up to 400 housing units there. So that's just in this one little circle that we're seeing this influx of these national builders, which I really think is pretty significant. I hope that you find the enclosed newsletters is informative to you. And uh, for those of you that are on our mailing list, you should have received in the last day or two our hard copy. Uh, you could always find our newsletter on our blog post on our website, kalendagroup.com. Um, as always, please feel free to reach out if you have any questions about the market. And I'm wishing you and your families a happy, healthy 2022, and I hope to see you all soon. Thanks.